And we are here with our weekly conversation with Fairfield head coach Aaliyah Pinger as part of our Coach's Spotlight. Coach, how are you today? Good, thanks. Looking forward to another year, huh? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We've got um, five new players, and I think that they're really going to challenge our returning players for spots and just kind of bring up our level of competition in the gym, which will be great once uh, we start playing other teams. So far early in the preseason, what have you seen? Um, I've seen uh, our returning players coming back really wanting to play and working hard. Um, came back in shape and ready to ready to get after it. And then our incoming players are used to playing, used to competing, and are definitely uh, looking to push those kids and learn from them also. And you mentioned those incoming freshmen. It in a word, on paper, this freshman class could, could be considered loaded. A lot of high-ranked players. What do you think they bring in? Uh, experience playing at a high level. Um, one of our kids played for a team out in California that won their, their division at nationals, and the other kids have all played in several national tournaments and are used to winning. So they're going to bring in that, that winning mentality, and they're going to do what they can to make that happen. Do you think all five could be an impact in their first year? Uh, it's a possibility, but we got to see how everything shakes out. I mean, everybody's fighting for their spot, and everybody really wants it. So it, it will be interesting to see how everything ends up. Now with the freshmen, have you seen the senior leadership sort of, you know, help transition them so far in the early going? Yeah, I think our senior leadership this year is a lot stronger than it has been in years past, just where they have their standards. They know what they want, and they know what they want their younger players to do, and they're helping them learn the ropes and helping them figure it out and how to be successful as well as improving their own game at the same time, which can be really difficult. So we appreciate that from the seniors putting in that much effort. Now, last year at the end of the season, it was sort of like two ends of the season. You had the, le the end of the regular season, the loss of St. Peter's, but then you had a great showing in the MAC tournament. Do you hope that that – ending in the MAC tournament sort of, you know, transitions into this year? Yeah, I think the end of our season last year was definitely disappointing, and everybody felt the sting of that and really didn't want to see that happen again, especially in the tournament. Um, that turnaround in the tournament, I think, gave them a little momentum and showed them that we are capable of pulling off whatever we want to do. We just have to make that decision to do it, and that gate drove them through the spring and everything else and coming into this fall, too to uh, make sure that we don't have that slump and we don't have those same problems and finding ways to avoid whatever it was that caused that the slump before and to uh, use that kind of as a chip on our shoulder so that we can make sure that we don't fall back into any of those patterns and avoid those same problems in the future. Have you seen the chemistry and the communication on this team improving? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've worked. that's something we've definitely worked on over the spring and it's carried over into the fall, which is great. And then bringing in the five new players, it can be difficult. Uh, with that many new people and just trying to get everyone on the same page. But everyone has been working really hard and has been very receptive to anything that their teammates tell them, to what we as coaches are telling people. So everyone, I think, is, is doing their best to adjust to all the new people and making sure we're working everyone in together. Last year, the offense struggled a bit. They had a lot of you know attack errors. Is that that could actually be considered a strength now this year? As you you bring in a lot of you know outside hitters from freshmen, and you got Dixie on as another you know year. So that that could be considered a strength this year. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> That's definitely what we're working towards and something that we're focusing on. Um, we do have some people that can put some heat on the ball, and that'll be able to get some kills for us, which will definitely be helpful. Um, we also worked a lot on our defense over the spring and have seen the results from that as well. So hopefully combining the, the offensive firepower with uh, improved defense will, will make a big difference. The two freshmen from last year, Romanski and Moyer, they really stepped up, and they were really you know impact on the team. Yeah, definitely. Rachel did a great job stepping in, playing as a freshman, which can be tough, and she's hungrier than ever to come out and play this year, and she took it just as hard as everybody else did um, our, at the end of our season last year, and she definitely is going to do everything she can to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And, uh, I mean, Haley always works hard. There's nothing you can say. That kid works hard, hard in every single practice and goes 100% all the time. When people scout Fairfield, do you think they're going to be looking at uh, offense or defense? What do you think is going to be the strength of this team? Uh, well, I, I'd like to say I hope we're balanced on both ends where we can we can get it done in both places. So uh, we're going to, like I said, do our best to improve that offense so that we can get some more production out of our hitters and then also dig a few more balls and trans transition those out for points also. Now on defense, Kara Reese really, she's getting up there very quietly in the, you know, uh, Fairfield record books, and she's very underrated when teams look at her. Yeah, Kara, is a qu she's not a flashy player, but she gets the job done, and she, again, works really hard in practice and tries to improve every single time that she's on the court, and she is one of our most steady players. We can always count on her, and we always know what we're going to get out of her, which is very, very important, especially for that libero position. So if she just keeps it up, she's, she's great for us. We, we can rely on her every day. We know that. Now, last year the team was pre-ranked number two. This year, number three. Does that take a little pressure off the team coming in? 
Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they even pay that much attention to the ranking because the, I think they have in their mind where they want to see us ending up at the season, and that's the pressure that they're putting on themselves. It's not necessarily anything that's coming from the outside. At least that's what I like to think. <laughs> um, but they do have high standards for themselves, and that's what they're going to try and live up to. Is there one player that, that fans should watch out for? Uh, you know what? Not I have no idea right now. <laughs> it's so, so sure, early in preseason. Sure. We're still trying to figure out how everything is going to fit, but I think that we could be fun to watch this year as long as everything comes together and everybody keeps working hard. Now, is it this year that all teams qualify or just the four teams in the MAC? Just the four teams. Just the four teams. So is, does that change the goal from last year? Because, you know, the goal last year was, you know, to improve every game until the MAC tournament. So that, does that change the goal from this year? Um, well, obviously we want to be in the tournament, so we have to finish in that top four. Uh, last year, like you said, we had a, a struggle at the end of the season, which in a regular year would have knocked us out of the tournament. We can't have that this year if we want to actually continue in, in and play in that tournament. So we're, I mean, we're absolutely want to finish in that top four so that we'll be at the MAC tournament in, in uh, November. Last one. What are the expectations for the team? Uh, I mean, obviously, we'd love to win the MAC championship, go to NCAA tournament. Um, and I think we have the ability to do it, but we have to work hard and we have to make it work. Otherwise, it's it, we, you can have all the ability in the world and it doesn't make anything happen unless you uh, you put in that work and that competition and all that.